There's some new information about who qualifies and how you qualify for half, the Homeowners Assistance Fund, which is basically free money from the government, government grants to help you pay your mortgage and pay what you owe. We've been talking a lot about half, the Homeowners Assistance Fund. This fund is a $10 billion fund that's set up to give money to homeowners who cannot pay their mortgage because of the coronavirus. This is a free money situation for a lot of people. And I'm about to give you an update about what's going on. There's some new things that we're gonna talk about. Now, the big thing is that what you, for people who don't know, and this might be information that's gonna save your life in a couple of months, is that the half of the Homeowner Assistance Fund is a mortgage assistant grant program for homeowners who have been affected by coronavirus and who cannot pay their mortgage, either they were in forbearance and they can't catch up, or they can't make their ongoing mortgage payments. So there's been a lot of activity with this program in the last couple months. Now, on August 20th of this, this past August 20th, 20th of 2021, the states had a deadline to give to the federal government their plan on how they were going to disperse the $10 billion, their portion of the $10 billion to their constituents. Now, most all states met their deadlines, so these programs are now being reviewed by the federal government, and this money is going to be available for homeowners who are in dire straits who need money from the government in order to pay their mortgage. Now, 10 states have set up pilot programs, and here are the states right here. Arkansas, Alabama, Connecticut, uh, Georgia, Massachusetts, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Virginia. These are the 10 states that right now have set up pilot programs, and I believe some of them are actually dispersing some money to homeowners. In order to find out about this, what you need to do is you need to go online, you need to type in the letters HAF, Homeowners Assistance Fund, and your state. When you do that, you're gonna come up to a website and there's gonna be a notification email um, system set up. You're gonna put your email in there and they're gonna send you an email on how to apply for these grants. The states are the ones that administer it. It's not done directly through the federal government. So it's something you need to apply through your state. Each state has different rules, but in general, uh, these uh, states have to give money to folks who are who cannot pay their mortgage and, their, and who that, um, that hardship is directly related to uh, coronavirus. Now, there is a term of art. A term of art is a legal thing that basically the words mean something different than what you read. In this situation, it's financial hardship. Uh, the states are directed to give money to anybody who has the financial hardship. This financial hardship term has a meaning different than what you and I would use on the street. When you say financial hardship to somebody, it has a different meaning than what this means in the half situation. Now, the, what financial hardship means is that the person who's applying for half must have a material, material reduction in income or a material increase in living expenses. What does that mean? Material means important, big, or serious. So basically, if you have lost your job, that, that would work. You have a material reduction of income. Material increase in living expenses could mean that you are now having to do things to your home because of a sickness or something has happened in your home, in, in, your, in your life that causes uh, important and material expenses to be increased. This, these, these are terms of art. This will basically, when you apply for the HAP program, they're gonna ask you why, and you're gonna have to explain what it is that's going on. Obviously, a, a loss of income is much easier to prove than an increase, um, a material increase in living expenses, but you never know if it's legitimate and it's something that um, you need that's happened to you that's outside of your control, then it's very much possible you would get the HAP money. Now, this next is term, it has to be associated with coronavirus. What this means is that it's very broad. For the last, you know, since March of 2020, pretty much everything in the economy in the United States, or actually all over the world, has been associated with coronavirus. So if you lost your job, you were laid off, uh, you were, your hours were reduced, something happened in your life, related to coronavirus, which has pretty much happened to everybody in the United States, 
then you would qualify at least up to this point. Now the question is, what happens if you were in default before coronavirus? and then all of a sudden you were put in forbearance and now you're coming out and you need this half money. What I would say to you in that situation is that what I would argue is that, okay, well, yeah, I might've been in default before, but obviously there's no way I was gonna be able to catch up because my because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus limited my ability to make money, so therefore I could not catch up and therefore I could not uh, pay my mortgage, uh, make my mortgage payments moving forward. That would be my argument, and that's something that basically when these applications come out, there's going to be a lot of activity around this. Some people are going to apply, and they're going to be uh, they're going to have to explain why they were affected by coronavirus, and that's something that you need to be ready for. Now, this is the last part. Uh, the financial hardship had to increase or created the risk of a mortgage delinquency which mortgage delinquency sounds horrible, but all that means is that a mortgage delinquency means that you were um, that you now cannot pay your old mortgage payment. That would be that you now are in a situation, you're coming out of forbearance, you can't pay your old mortgage payment, so therefore it's gonna cause a mortgage delinquency, so you need help with the payment. The next would be a mortgage default. What that means is that you stop paying, that you, because of coronavirus, because of loss in job, you now cannot pay, so you've, there, you've therefore defaulted on your mortgage and you have uh, the need of the half money. Now, the foreclosure obviously is that you've defaulted and now you're in foreclosure. Um, so if you are in a situation that you have defaulted and you need money to reinstate your loan and you're facing foreclosure, you can go to the half uh, program and get money for that. The, the next thing would be utilities and um, all uh, like the water bill, your electricity bill, uh, those bills. If you cannot pay those bills, the half money is supposed to help you with that uh, because obviously if you, your, if you get your water cut off, you can't live in your property. So therefore you um, cannot, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not getting what you need to be able to live there, which goes ties into the last one, which is displacement of the homeowner. Anything that would displace you or any homeowner from living in the property is uh, something that um, the half program is supposed it was created to avoid so if you can't pay your uh, utility bills and you're going to be kicked out then obviously or you can't live in your property anymore then you would need that help another thing that's not on my list there is it also is money to fix homes if your home needs a new roof and you cannot live there anymore because of the new roof the half money could very well help you uh, replace your roof or fix things in your home that keep you in the home and doesn't displace you because that's what the half money is for. Now, a lot of people don't really understand how to apply and I get a lot of questions about this. And my answer to everybody right now is there is no application for half yet. The half program is designed to start in the next few months, most likely in the beginning of 2022, we're not that far off, folks. October, November, December, three months. We're in the middle of September, so three and a half months. Uh, it's probably when these programs are gonna kick in. So start looking out for them. Make sure you go onto the website, and like I said, Google HAF, H-A-F, and your state, and you will be directed to a website where you can most likely put in your email address and get your, um, your, your notification email when the program is ready for you.